So I just got 2,000 mythic rating by pugging and got myself this sweet hailstorm armor radon. Armoridon? Armoridon? Not sure on the pronunciation there, but it's an awesome mount. So how did I do it, and what tips and tricks do I have for those players out there hoping to secure this bad boy before the end of Season 1? Stick around to find out. Hey there, Rotan here. I make to-the-point videos about World of Warcraft, helping people obtain collectibles, cosmetics, and mounts that they want easily and quickly. If that sounds like a fun time, subscribe. Today I'm going to share 5 tips and tricks that helped me get my rating over that 2000 threshold by pugging Mythic Dungeons. Some of these I learned later than others, but I do believe these to be the most valuable bits of knowledge to learn and apply if you want to perform better in dungeons, get better groups, and ultimately increase your rating. Tip number one, understand how the rating system works. For me, once I understood how the system worked, it allowed me to prioritize what dungeons and what key levels I wanted to target on different weeks so I could maximize my rating. There are two scores you have for each dungeon, a tyrannical score and a fortified score. These two affixes swap back and forth every week, so you can only work on raising one of these scores each week. These two scores are combined using a formula to give a single final score. The formula is here on your screen, and it is the higher score times 1.5 plus the lower score times 0.5, and that gives you the final score. What does that mean? Well, let's look at an example. If my Halls of Valor Tyrannical score is 120 and my Fortified score is 80, that makes my final score 220. Math here on your screen. Therefore, it's actually more worth it to keep pushing higher level keys and faster times on your higher week rather than raising your lower score. However, this only works to a certain extent as eventually you'll run into a wall with difficulty and can't increase your key level anymore, thus your score is stagnant. Once you've hit the difficulty cap based on either your gear or your skill or your groups, try and push your lower score up. To keep it simple, getting all 8 Mythic Plus Dungeons to plus 14 for both Tyrannical and Fortified will get you over that 2000 score benchmark. Remember to beat those dungeons in time, or go just barely over time in order to get those points. A run completion that's vastly over time won't count to your score. Tip number 2. Study the affixes and how they interact with each other. Each week, affixes rotate. Wowhead has great resources on future weeks and their affixes so you can prep ahead of time for what's coming. Affixes are what really create the difficulty of the dungeon, and certain affix combos make for extremely grueling or extremely easy weeks. For example, this week we have Raging and Quaking as the affixes. Raging makes adds get stronger as they're close to death, and Quaking makes players need to spread out a little bit every once in a while. There's no interaction between these affixes, so this week has been an easy one so far and has been great for pushing keys. However, a combination like Bursting and Grievous Wounds is insanely deadly and makes for completing high-level keys nearly impossible in pug scenarios. Once you understand the affixes, let's move on to tip number three. Study the dungeons and how they work with the affixes. Each dungeon is unique from one another with different mechanics, trash pulls, and of course, bosses. Some dungeons have extremely punishing bosses, and some have extremely punishing trash pulls. The dungeons with difficult bosses are made even harder on tyrannical weeks, and dungeons with strong trash are made exceptionally difficult during fortified weeks. We can apply the same logic with all the rest of the affixes as well, as some affixes are easier or harder in certain dungeons. Let's take a look at Shadowmoon Burial Grounds as an example. The bosses in this dungeon are easy, with the hardest being the first boss. However, trash can be deadly throughout this dungeon. Therefore, tyrannical weeks are great, as having harder bosses isn't too bad for this dungeon. However, affixes such as sanguine pools can be really annoying, as there's a lot of caster mobs in the trash packs that will stand in the pools and get healed up to full. Maybe if a week's affixes is fortified and sanguine, let's just forget about Shadow and Burial Grounds. Point being, knowing the dungeon inside and out can help determine which specific dungeons are apt to be pushed to their full extent in a given week. As an added benefit of knowing the affixes and the dungeons, you can also optimize what classes you invite when making your groups. Speaking of making groups, tip number 4. Use third-party tools and add-ons when creating a group. This tip is probably what helped me the most after understanding and applying the prior three tips. Even though I personally knew how the dungeons worked, how I needed to perform, and which mobs I needed to stun or interrupt, in the end, I'm only one man in a five-man dungeon. There are four other players who may or may not know what they're doing and have the potential to bring the entire group down and destroy the key. Using tools like Raider.io or Warcraft Logs helped me weed out some players that may not have had the experience or damage needed to complete a dungeon. 
Quick word of warning for these add-ons, this is not the ultimate solution. I don't want to encourage an environment where you need to tunnel vision someone's radar IO profile as the only point of entry into a group. People can't raise their score if they're never given a chance. But if you're trying to push a plus 15 key or higher and two very similar people queue up, you can choose the best between them using add-ons like this. Also, something like Mythic Dungeon Tools and Details are also extremely helpful add-ons to understand what you should be pulling and managing people's damage and healing output. Once I started to take these things into consideration and use these add-ons, I had a lot less groups where someone random would mess up a mechanic and wipe us at the worst time. The fifth and final tip is this. Don't give up. Persevere and be a good human. No matter how good you are at the game, no matter how much knowledge you have of the dungeons and affixes, like I said before, there are four other humans playing with you with varying levels of knowledge and skill. All of us ultimately are working towards the same goal. People will make mistakes, including you. So forgive them, forgive yourself, create a healthy community out there, and when we fall down, try again. With perseverance and a good attitude, you'll hit that 2000 rating mark in no time. Hopefully in just two weeks max following the rest of these tips. Remember, all plus 14s in Tyrannical and Fortified. It's very doable. As a reward, you'll get this sweet mount. I really enjoy the Hailstorm Armoredin. Hailstorm Arm... I don't know how to pronounce it. This guy. Having a collectible to show off your prowess is always great, and I'm sure a new mount will come next season where these same five tips will apply. I appreciate having some mounts in the game that are obtained via skill rather than luck, and it feels especially exclusive knowing the time to actually get this mount is limited, lasting for only one season. So get out there now before season 1 ends, and happy pugging. Take care.